Welcome to example eight. We have a natural horn, uh, trumpet with no valves, that is similar to a pipe that is open at both ends. The musician plans to create the fundamental frequency. Now the fundamental frequency is really the first harmonic, so F sub one is equal to 256 hertz uh, using this horn. Now the sound travels at a speed of 350 meters per second. So V equals 350 meters per second. And we're looking at what is the length of this horn. So what is L? Now, what I would do is first probably draw a picture of what the scenario would look like. So let, let's draw a picture of a pipe. So here's my pipe open at this end here. And there's the walls here. And then there's the other end. And the other end's open as well. Now, if you're going to create a, a, a standing wave with this air column, uh, at the both ends, there's going to be loud sound emanating from that. So there's an antinote here, and there's an antinote here, and in the middle we have a node. So let's draw that, that displacement pattern of the air particles, the standing wave displacement pattern. So we have an antinote here and here, and we have an antinote here and here. We have maximum displacement, and then a, a node right here. So it should look something like this. Now, the next question is, how much of a wave is that? If you're not sure, just, just draw a, a sine wave over here, like this. And then, you know, draw a standing wave now, so you're making a second wave over here, like this. And then highlight the region that you see. So we have an antinode here and here, so right there. And then we have another antinode over here, right? And then if we were to break up this wave into four pieces, then th this would be a quarter of a wave, and this would be a quarter of a wave. So really, you have half a wave. So L represents half of the wavelength. So now, we know the velocity and the frequency. We can find the wavelength. V equals F times lambda. Uh, this is the fundamental and the wavelength that corresponds to that fundamental. So the wavelength at that uh, harmonic is going to be V divided by the frequency. The speed of sound is 350 meters per second divided by the frequency of 256 hertz. And this will give you a wavelength of 1.37 meters. And the next thing is we know that L must be equal to half of that because we see that from that pattern here. So 1.37 meters divided by 2 and that gives you a length of 0.68 meters. So he would have to adjust his length of his pipe, his horn, to be uh, 0.68 meters, 68 centimeters. Okay, on to part B. A talented musician can produce a number of overtones, like the second, the third, the fourth, and so forth. What would be the frequency of the fourth overtone produced when the musician is playing the middle C fundamental? Well, the easiest way to solve this is really, you're looking for the fourth harmonic, you already know the first harmonic. So, and you know that every nth harmonic is a multiple of the fundamental. So, we're looking for the fourth harmonic, so it'll be four times the fundamental. So we take four and multiply 256 hertz by that, and that gives you the fourth harmonic, which is 1,280 hertz. And that's it for this example.